Welcome back, guys. As you can see, I got some pimpin' new armor. Not bad. You actually picked this up in the temple. Uh, right outside where Raven's door is closed. Speaking of which, that was quite a cliffhanger. So Raven has eluded us. But of course it's not gonna end there. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What the hell happened here? Where's Lenar? He must have gone down there. Let's just snag this while he's gone. Um, so, Raven has eluded us. So, we must go back to Satyrus and ask what we should do next. But first, while we're here, we should free the slaves. That sounds like a fine plan to me. Let's talk to him first. Let the slaves go. Listen, Bloodwin is in command here. The slaves belong to him, so he has the right to set them free. Besides, Thoris also has a say in that. And what about you? Do you have any say? Here, is that enough? No, no. Put that away. God, I don't want to see that. It would be better for you if you let the slaves go now. Wait a minute. Bloodwin isn't the only one who has... But you just Whoops. said that the slaves belong to Bloodwin. Yes, but I also said that I won't set anyone free without an order from Thoris. You're one of those guys who won't take a leak without orders, eh? Well, it's time to talk to Thoris. I doubt he'll be very sociable. I don't really doubt that, because I've already played this. But you guys know that. This is halfway a walkthrough anyway. But, Thoris. Thoris, Thoris. This old guy. What are you planning? What? <laughs> now you've cleared so Bloodman innocent. out of the way too. I'm just asking myself who's next, Raven? Or me? Are you afraid? I'm not afraid of a fight, but I am afraid of the consequences of your actions. This camp is the only thing we have left. It may not have always run to perfection, but it does run. And with every person you kill, another piece of our community breaks up. We are bandits, outcasts, lawbreakers, desperados. Wherever we go, we're hunted, locked up, and killed. There is no better place for us than this. No better time than now. What are you getting at? These men need someone to lead them. Who should that be? You? You who is constantly roaming from place to place? <laughs> then you take over the leadership of the camp. Okay, but what about Raven? Raven will soon have other worries. I'll take care of him. Oh, yes and make sure that the prisoners can leave the camp in peace. All right. I shall take care of all the guards out here. Good. I already have that armor, so I don't care. He'll take care of those guards. I'll talk to the guard back inside. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, I want to talk to the slaves. This is a bit out of order, so it's going to seem a bit weird, but... Yeah, I'll talk to the slaves first. I've been sent by the water mages. I've come to free you. Really? Why should I believe you? Do you want to get out of here or not? Of course I want to get out, but... Uh... Vatra sent me. If that's not enough for you, you can all rot in this hole for all I care. All right, I believe you. Really? Wow, that went faster than I thought. Okay, now all we need is a plan. Trying to flee poses a great risk. William tried and he bought it. Prisoners and peasants and workers, they trust me. They won't dare to mount an escape. Will I have to kill all the bandits before you budge at all? But that would be insane. But that can't be the plan. Just see to it that the guards don't attack us, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll handle that. Tell the others to get ready. All right. So they're all ready to leave when I give the command. How are you holding up? <laughs> I, I love that. Be. 
completely worn out. Not only is it a glorious sunny day or one of those not only did they put the put the line with the wrong guy, but they even got the wrong guy to voice it. Where's the gentle rain of summer? The cool evening breeze. I can feel them no longer. It's the eyes that go first poetic. in here. Hang in there. Your rescue is near. Thanks. Thanks for your words. I almost sounded sarcastic. Here, drink this. See if you'll appreciate this shit. Thanks. Three that items. does me good. I wanted to give him one. How are you now? Better. Thanks to you, I can feel my strength returning. Right. That's all we needed to do. Hey. Let's talk to these guys anyway. Oh! What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, the angle at which you strike is not too flat. Whatever, I already mined everything. I was wondering why I wouldn't get that last five points. I forgot about this guy. You can only get about, I guess, ten points. Um, from mining yourself. The rest all has to come from trainers. And I already mined literally everything in here. Except for what those two guys are guarding. I mean, mining. Anyway. So, because of that, I piled up a nice, uh, pile of nuggets. 400. This guy will sell them to you for, I mean, buy them from you for 10 gold apiece, so that's four. I've nearly doubled my, oh, pretty much have doubled my hey. money there. What are you doing? Are you melting down your gold? No, I'm washing vegetables. Of course I'm melting down gold, but I'm making coins out of it. Because just imagine, one fine evening, Raven comes along and shoves a coin die in my hands. Out of one single gold nugget, I can mint a heap of coins. I'm so good that no one can tell the difference. How many coins will you give me for one nugget? Well, I don't know you at all, but I'll make you a special price. For one nugget, I'll give you ten gold pieces. <laughs> Why do you have to give him a different voice for that? Let's haggle. That's the standard price everyone gets. I thought that was it. Is. Oops. Everyone here is special to me. Oh, that's sweet. What do you know about Raven? You won't believe it. I was there. I saw what he did in the tomb. He mumbled and called some strange words over and over. Cardimon Fatang Shatar Fatang Beliar. And then, a blazing light came out of the tomb, and I heard the scream! Oh, ye gods, that voice! That was the sound of the end of the world! Raven spoke with it. They conversed. Raven, and that voice! I can't remember what they said. I just know that I can only master my limbs again many hours later, back in the camp. Spooky. Let's trade. Give me all the money. 410 gold, bitches. And on top of that, I got a bunch of, uh, these. At least two of these. Not bad, eh? And I got 15 of these. That's 30 bucks, but mostly, most importantly, 150 experience. Alright. Let the you have it? I talked with Thoris. He ordered the slaves to be set free. Okay, if Thoris ordered it, but I have to ask myself why he decided on something like that. But you aren't being paid to ask questions. All right, all right, I'm obviously not needed here anymore, so I'll go get me some stew. You do that. All right, bros, time to move out. All's well. You can make yourself scarce. Great. And he wasted no time. Leave the swamp towards the southwest. The water mages have set up their camp near the ruins of the old temple. They're going to show you the way out of this valley. Thanks, thank you so much. We are all very deeply... Never mind. Ha. Ah. No time for sentiments. 
So that's dealt with. Raven is dealt with. I mean, no, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Raven has yet to be dealt with. And this part is going to be quite long. Maybe not long, but it will be very, very tough. I've only got... Ooh, going to level up again somewhat soon. Alright, let's just get back to Severus for now. Oh, here he is. Hey, you! About Raven. I made my way into Raven's quarters. And? What about Raven? I came too late. He disappeared into the Adonis Temple right before my eyes. What? That is a catastrophe. Why didn't you follow him? I couldn't follow Raven. He blocked the entrance from inside. I must think. The question is, how did Raven get into the temple? And what did he do before he passed through the portal? He spoke an incantation at the gate. And before that? He opened a burial chamber. I already told you about that. Right. A ritual. Yes, that's it. I fear that Raven has made the power of the Guardians of the Dead his own. He got his knowledge of the temple from a spirit. You must go to Mixier and tell him about this. To Mixier! Hey, I don't know oh, shush. I'm busy. Must make haste. Where the hell is he? Why is he all the way over here? Hey, you! Hey, oh, you. you're the wrong... You're the wrong fucker. It's you. Hey! Saturus sent me. Raven has made his way into the temple and blocked the portal from the inside. Saturus thinks he got his information about the temple from a ghost. By Adonis. He must have summoned the high priest Cardamon to ask him about a way into the temple. According to the records, his grave was in the caves under the fortress. You will have to do the same, but you cannot ask Cardamon anymore. The grave of the warrior prince Quahodron is supposed to lie in the west of the valley. You will have to find it and waken Quahodron. It is written in these inscriptions how a believer of Adonos can summon a spirit. Do you think that'll really work? I've read a lot of crazy ramblings. For example, the writings of Iberian, the leader of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. But I believe every word of the author of these writings. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper didn't spread just lies. The Sleeper really existed. But it wasn't their lies that made them implausible. It was their words as such. They were more confusing than believable. They showed the excessive use of the swamp weed they smoked. It is the seriousness and prudence in the words on this stone tablet that convinced me that this man wrote the truth. Why Korhodron? Why not the high priest Cardamon? Raven has desecrated the grave of Cardamon with his summoning. We can assume that. We shall have to look for another spirit. Are you really serious? I want to explore every possibility. Even if there is only a ghost of a chance for ha! us to meet one of the builders, then we have to do it. Raven has managed to do it after all. Assuming I want to summon this ghost, what do I have to do? Find Quarhodron's grave in the west of the valley. His ghost can be summoned by the words of the Guardians of the Dead, which I have written for you here. That's all. Now you just have to find the grave. Good luck, my son. Teach me. You already know the language. Texts. Let's just learn this. Go and test. I shall test my new knowledge. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I shall. Sweet. Oh, can't use those yet. Magic. I'll hold off to wait and see how expensive magic ends up getting. Alright, let's take a nap before we move onwards. <laughs> this is easily the best armor I have right now. Unfortunately, anyone besides the bandits and the water mages will attack you if they see you wearing it. I don't know if the pirates do. I've never actually worn bandits armor around them. 
There's one NPC you can accidentally stumble across around here. Who will try to kill you if he sees you wearing it. Unfortunately, I don't... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, shit. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna... Hmm. Oh, no, I have the pirate armor I could give him. That's fine. Uh, the, the guy I'm talking about, he asked for uh, some clothes because he doesn't have any. And he won't take bandit armor, but he'll take anything else. I don't want to give him the fire mage robe because then the fire mages won't talk to me. <laughs> so. I don't know if it would be possible to knock him down and take it back, though. <laughs> Uh, here's actually a cave. Oh, there's a ton of shit I haven't done yet. I might as well do that now. There's a cave I want to, um... Loot. And... There's also a short... Actually, there's a couple... Quests I can tackle in one go. Including... Angus and Hank. Not all that hard to find, but we shall do it. This cave... It is a bit tough. It's not that big, but there are these goblin warriors... ...who are... ...horribly difficult. There's also a shadow beast, but obviously during the day he sleeps, so... ...it's possible to sneak past him. Oh, stop moving so much. Oh, one hit, bitches. Not today. <laughs> Alright. Unfortunately, also inside is... Uh, one of the... Treasure sites. Speaking of which, I've been avoiding a lot of them because... Once all this is done... I plan on dedicating possibly just a short video that won't be included in because it's it would definitely be short once I edit it down but it's just gonna show all the uh, treasure sites I'll just take them all in one swing and once I edit edit it down it'll probably be very quick all right we have to, be, have to tread very lightly here yeah, as long as you stay in sneak mode, you should be fine, but if you bump into him, he might wake up. I don't know. I... I really don't think I could kill him now. There's no... there's probably no chance of me being able to stun lock him long enough to... I wonder if you could actually... Uh, mine that without waking him up. Seems very unlikely. What the hell, we'll give it a shot. I'll be damned. Uh, I think I've found something. Sweet. There's actually a decent sword here, but I don't know if I can use it. You do have to be careful, though. Because, in my experience, it is possible for nearby sleeping things to wake up if they hear you break a lot of lockpicks. I don't know if that applies to sh this shadow beast, though. Let's try to be careful. Left. Shit. Left. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. I made much more noise than I needed to. Alright. Oh god, this could be bad. Yipe! Get me the fuck out of here! He was actually going right to sleep. If I hadn't moved, he probably wouldn't have uh, attacked me. Is he still coming? I hope not. Oh god. Oh god. Yipe! Oh, hang on now. Hang on. 
he's eating that thing. Let's see if I can get past him. What? Let's just fucking kill him if I can. How's this sword? I need 70. I need 30 more points. Fuck. I only need 10 more for that. That's pretty... Ooh, that's a damn good sword. Oh, son of a bitch! I forgot I wanted to save my learning points for the potion. God damn it. Ooh. I don't need this shit. Are. Hopefully he won't just die. Here we go. Waboosh! Alright, come Skelly. We've work to do. Oh man, I'm not doing shit to this guy. Oh yeah, Skelly is though. Mr. Fred. You're better than Fred. Like in reality, you do more damage, but you don't last as long. We'll call you Frank. Just to stay somewhat consistent. <laughs> right. Now we can do this safely. Left, left, right, 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 left. Ooh, not bad, not bad. And you. Left, right, right, left. Damn, right, left. I mean, left, 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 right, right, left, left, left. Fish was delish. All right, onwards. <laughs> so it's actually been a while since I played this. I kind of initially forgot where I left off, but once I loaded inside the uh, temple, I remembered. So, it, this shouldn't actually take too much longer. I think a couple more videos, maybe two or three, and we'll be finished with the expansion. And then it's onwards to chapter four and the dragons. Let's switch on this armor just to be safe. I don't want him attacking me. What you doing? How's it look? Who are you? Are you one of the bandits? Do I look like one? You're wearing our clothes, but I don't know you. What's up? My buddy Malcolm has disappeared. One of those filthy lurkers attacked us, so we fled into this cave. But that lurker came after us. Malcolm fought with it, and then they both fell into that hole over there seems to be full of water. The Lurker and Malcolm continued to fight down there for a while. Then it went quiet. I have no idea whether he's still alive or not. How do I get down into that crevice? It beats me. You can either climb down or jump, I suppose. Jump? Sounds like a plan. And jump! Whee! Oh shit. Oh god. Okay, I was worried he would actually take damage. Stunt bonus. That's a pretty interesting thing that you don't see in this game, really. I have no idea where I'm going. But it's actually a pretty neat uh, trick what they do. If you try to do that more than once, it actually starts taking away your experience. Called an exploit malice. Try and uh, just give you a penalty for exploiting easy uh, experience. Oh boy, there's a couple lurkers down here. Right, we can fuck some up. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Fuck off. I obviously Malcolm didn't make it. Never finished cutting those trees. Get over here, you little bitch. Yeah, eat it. Got some clouds. Some gold? Not much, though. 
<gasps> Ooh! Oh, that's not helpful. I just saw a plus three and got excited, and then I realized it was shit. Piece of shit. Unless you use two-handed weapons. Obviously, I do not. Grog. How many grogs do I have now? Oh yeah, I forgot I bought them all. <laughs> well, it's not necessary, but there's really no other way to get them. I don't think there are 20 grogs to find in this world. Ah, uh, more nuggets. Could have gotten some more cash. Some sulfur here for some reason. And some rock crystal on this crystal. I'm about to sneeze. Maybe not. Well, more swimming to do. Where does this lead us? This magical journey. It leads us to the hollow where we hunted with Alligator Jack. But, what we did not take a look at earlier was this cave here. Inside, Angus and Hank. Angus has Morgan's ring. Oh, oh! I could give that to Morgan, but I don't think I want to. Let's see now. Astral power, priest. Fuck that. I want Morgan's ring. Make me do more damage. There's blood on the wall somehow. So, how the hell did they die in here? This doesn't... I mean, it doesn't look like they were dragged in there, considering there's blood everywhere. But, uh... I don't know. They were supposed to have met Juan somewhere. And then he was supposed to have murdered them. I knew you were there, you little... I'm trying to stop saying bitch as much. It's losing its oomph. Leaping lizard. Come on. Ow! Oh. Do me a fake. Whoa. Somehow I missed this. Oh yeah, I forgot I got another bow, but it's not, not something I can use, I don't think. What kind of bow is this? Just a long... Oh, long bows are actually pretty good. But once again, I am nowhere near able to use it. Do I have... I'm not even going to bother learning the potion for this. Too many, um... Oh, I have two longbows. Intriguing. Dragon mirror. Oh! Oh yeah, I use a strength. I was surprised. Oh man, I'm only 20 short. Hmm. Hmm. Arrows. Whatever. Uh, words. What are some words? Well, interesting bit of news. Perhaps not that interesting, but uh, I just managed to beat Demon Souls yesterday. Not Dark Souls. I've already done that, but my brother owned. Or it still owns, obviously. Demon's Souls for the PS3. And I've been playing it kind of off and on whenever I was home. And last time, I think back in November, I got really stuck and very discouraged. And I didn't think I was ever going to finish it. But I managed to. It was tough. I'd say it's harder than Dark Souls in general. The bosses are much easier, but that's about it. Gotta steal that right out from under your ass. Your pal Malcolm is dead. I thought as much. Poor devil. Should have helped him after all. Yeah, he should have. Really brave. What kind you of friend that? are you? I couldn't have done that with the crevice. You bitch. Damn it, I did it again. Oh god. Okay, we're safe. Man, more grog. We'll deliver the grogs to skip once I 
uh, return to deliver the news to Greg. But for now, let's put on the good armors. And try to find Quar Hodron's grave. And while we're at it, we'll also do the final temples. Ah, oh, man, there's one more in the place in my place. The canyon. I forgot about that one, but we're going to have to take care of that. That one's possibly the worst. It's got some really nasty beasts in there. Ooh, I think I'm almost immune to magic. I'm not even sure if I blast him with an ice block if it will even freeze him. There's a sneaky goblin somewhere around here. Yeah. Come at me, bro. Eat it. Eat it. Ah, snappers. I do not like snap. Whoa! Ha ha ha! You sorry fool. Whoa! What the fuck? What the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Get up! Please. I don't fucking believe this. That was stupid, and I can't even do this shit to fix it. Ah, uh, fuck! Whatever. That put me off pretty badly, guys, so I'll see you some other time.